The princess Meghan Markle has Swiss ancestors from Glattfelden, Zurich, Zurich, Switzerland. The ancestor Kaspar Glattfelder, from her father's side, emigrated in the 18th century in 1738 to Philadelphia. Just behind the ancestors of Barbara Bush, the aristocrat Christoph von Grafenried, entering America in 1710 and founded New Bern in the USA. That's why here, the 1710 Society. With Swiss noble mottos like, never spell it the same way twice. Meaning they give an order only once, and then you have to take the consequences. This is about ruling America. Shall I spell it out for you? It's all about British Swiss princesses and Swiss aristocratic US presidents. As in, make America great Britain again. Make America great Britain again. I made this film about it once, filming the castle of Barbara Bush, her Swiss aristocratic bloodline. So here you can see the title here and here on my channel. I did it in 2015. There's always the Swiss connection somewhere. And here you can read it here. They're all related to this castle in Octogon, Switzerland, and to the von Grafenried dynasty, First Lady Laura Bush, Bush family, Skull and Bones, Senator Charles Robb, President Johnson, and many, many more. Currently, one million Swiss sleeper agents in all key positions rule the USA and control the freedom-loving American people. So four years ago with the CIA channel, I left this comment there under this film. De Gravenried, who among other government services was senior director of intelligence programs uh, at the National Security Council from 1981 until 1987. In that capacity, he served as special assistant to the president for national security affairs under President Reagan ruffled some feathers when Rumsfeld and that crew had power. And then the name Meghan Markle. Doesn't that ring a bell, eh? There is this annoying hand sign German chancellor called Merkel. Merkel. Merkel? Markle? Merkel? Markel? Well, the pronunciation is the same, and it's all about power too. Farming the sleeple. Markle could very well be the anglified version of Merkel, Merkel, and she has Swiss-German ancestry too. In Pharaonic Demotic, Mer means a pyramid, like in Merkel, pronounced in English, Merkel. You know, here this side is Merkel, and this side here is Merkel, or Markel, eh? Markel, Merkel, Merkel, Mer. And Kel, as in Merkel, Merkel, Markel, might be from Ka, the soul, when you're still alive, the life energy. The soul arrives in the pyramid. Merkel, Markel, that's what it means. The soul arrives in the pyramid. I've already shown you that in Baphomet, Ba is the eternal soul. And uh, fa, it means to come, and uh, me, it m means the pyramid. Anyway, there are no civil marriages. This propaganda is all a scam. As they're all pharaonic bloodlines marrying each other, of whom only few still have a title. Like Queen Maxima Zoregueta from some. Argentinian wealthy Nazi family who is a direct descendant of King Alfonso III of Portugal and of many more Iberian aristocrats, that means from Spain and Portugal, and who married into the highly criminal and extremely wealthy House of Orange 
also called the house of the Bilderberger. And here you can see her genealogy in Spanish and her title Sa. Here you can see it, Sa, meaning the, the king or the queen in, in demotic, pharaonic. It's like a pharaonic queen for Su Alteza Real, meaning her royal highness and some Templars crosses here. All pharaohs for a marriage that had been announced worldwide by the prostitutes as a civil marriage or marriage with a commoner and any girl's dream that came true as in some fairy tale of a peasant girl marrying a prince and thus getting her own castle sealed by a royal kiss for the young girls or for spreading her legs for the older girls more advanced in royal practices like the Jus Prime Noctis, the rape of the peasant girls. Oh, I'm drifting off again. Fairy tales do make me dream away, eh? Well, back to the Swiss Merkel or Markle or whatever. So in May 2018, the inhabitants of the Zurich town of Gladfallen and their mayor, Ernst Gassmann, meaning the man of the gas, as in gassing people, like in some concentration camp, or as in the Zurich files to be seen in the internet. Good old Swissies, always predictable, decided to do some good old gold fishing for some influential royal prey, thinking by themselves to make a consequently good business out of it in the end when giving some memorable, typical Swiss present, a king's worth expensive too. So somehow the Swiss conspirators got the money together out of the bait box for international gold fishing, offering this lovely merry couple, as in some Cinderella fairy tale, six typical Swiss presents. The number six as the evil Swiss witch of the Swiss sisters of Isis, Suisse, Sir Dizis, casting some evil six orientated spell on the lovely princess. And her brave Afghan hunter, Prince of the Skies, who did several fox hunting Afghan tours with a 308 cal Gatling gun of the night's Apache gunship. Once upon a time, there was the Knight of the Skies of a royal blood, saving a snow-white alpine princess from the oriental mountains of Dragonstan, and from the evil witch of Helvetistan. What a bloody nightmare altogether. As Swiziland is in the middle of the power game, the oh-so-friendly Swizzies, as in a game of geostrategical chess, thinking also six moves ahead, bought the influential couple edible gold chocolate in a box at $20 a pop. A gold-plated Swiss army knife with diamonds and with the red and white Nazi Templar logo of $9,999, strange figure, eh? or $10,000 to cut your royal sandwich with. A Swiss gold watch with diamonds of $540,000, or half a million worth to consult the royal time on their wrists. Well, royal time is expensive, you know. One night in the most expensive hotel in the world for $80,000 a night in the Royal Penthouse Suite of the same Geneva Hotel next to CERN where Swizzy had set up Gaddafi's downfall by trapping his son Hannibal in the famous Wilson Hotel of which you can see here a, uh, a, a remembrance uh, stone in the hotel, so Harry and Meghan can have a look at it, eh? Plus some other fancy Swiss presents, 
so the charming royal couple hopefully wouldn't forget the nice Swiss for considerable future favours. Like billion dollar tax evasion deals, throwing big Swiss parties, hooking up international billionaires, a well-known Swiss baiting industry in which the snow job Edward Snowden was involved in in Geneva. Our business as usual. In the royal context, Swissy shows so much gallantry to African descendants, as Meghan Markle also is from her mother's side from the Negroid race from Africa. Whereas in the same Alpine country, the prisons are filled up with political prisoners of those damn immigrants without a dime, as the Swiss call them. With the Swiss Nazi police massively lying stuff together to be able to extradite them, and a country where tens of thousands of asylum seekers have completely disappeared into the Swiss final solution. So, here you see on my older channel here, Gatse Frats, here. Uh, it's um, a film from 2013. Here's the title. Death squads in Switzerland, ten thousands of asylum seekers vanished. Tode squadron in the in Schweiz. So this is uh, six years ago. So there must be I don't know maybe a hundred thousand they disappeared. Yeah, asylum seekers whom they don't want. Like me, I also disappeared now. Eh? And they uh, today I found out they took off my channel Gure. So they will take off my channel Gatsefrats very soon. I've never done anything against the law. Nothing at all. I don't even swear on my channel. Um, so all the proofs will be disappeared, will have disappeared very soon now. This too. So very soon there will be another clean, nice, neutral layer over this horrible crime. As um, as usual, over Switzerland, right? Swissy did exactly the same when Obama became president and also of Swiss descent from the Bernese town of Riet Kerzers, making the exception for a black man, whom Swissy would have thrown in a torture detention center for immigrants if he wouldn't have been the US president. And a very wealthy one too. Hope you sleep well in that $80,000 per night Swiss hotel, Meghan Markle. And always wear that $500,000 Swiss watch with which Swissy is going to make business commercials. So you won't get mistaken for some poor immigrant of the Negroid race. Well, Meghan. In the worst case scenario, you can always pull your Swiss $10,000 blade as a last resort argument to convince the octagon agents of the Swiss beast in case they don't recognize you in time. 